And of course, to thank Ajahn Brown for his years of wisdom and practice and and all the support that you give to this wonderful Bikuni project. Wow. We do want to give you some updates because yesterday we mentioned um, hoping to get this big place where we can continue to meet and to grow <coughs> other nuns as well as uh, mostly other nuns actually, not monks because monks have many places, but certainly to invite Ajahn Bram to stay in the little kuti that you already adopted and <laughs> to invite many of you to come and visit as well. Should I give the update now or later? No, why not? Now. The update Manoj, is... you want to say something? Yeah. So because yesterday we told you that uh, we went to see it on Wednesday, a beautiful property, property on a hill ah. with forested area and uh, just the right amount of seclusion <laughs> while still being accessible. So I loved it. Ajahn Brown, I yeah, think, loved did it, yeah. too. And, uh, but they have had, they already had one offer, which was kind of competitive to us because they would still have to sell their property first. But now they had a cash buyer. <gasps> so it's like really intense. So alongside being peaceful here, I've been doo -doo 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 on the email and talking to the agent <laughs> and Manoj is going to come here now and tell you more because if you don't interrupt me, I'll do it. So um, hopefully you can also fit on the camera. You can just kneel down maybe and, and uh, or, or you can yeah. stand up. I don't, yeah, they need fine. to see you though, hey. Yeah. So she's going to give an update to let our international audience know oh, yeah. that we really need a loan actually. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so a lot of things were happening from last night and uh <laughs> and then I was like late night texting, emailing and the agent calling this morning. So so many things happened. It's going pretty fast. But um as Venerable Chanda said that there's this cash buyer. They are, I think they are doing some checking on Wednesday, so and then they will decide whether they are going to uh, whether they are going to buy. Uh, so we need to we need to move pretty fast. So we have some cash in our savings account, thanks to all of our community, but that is not enough. So we have to sell the property, but the the agents won't wait for that. So we need to get a short term loan to. Uh, to pay back after we sell the property. So that is what we struggle now. So uh, what the agent told me this morning was that um, if we can show our bank statements and if we can show whoever the per you know organization or person who's giving us a loan uh, their bank statements and then uh, they will accept a detailed offer. Uh, so that is what we are working for. Um, yeah, so if you see me, uh, although you, I didn't tell you, I told you not to use them. Then I just right? It's okay. If, if you saw me, um, you know, checking my mobile, although I told you not to, so <laughs> this is what I was doing. <laughs> so it is, it is a struggle and we hope we'll find um, some cash miraculously, yeah, about 800 is it? <laughs> alone. Alone, yes, alone. And, uh, and they've given us a, a month. Yes, there, there is, yeah, that is, uh, yeah, once we agree, we need to agree within a couple of days' time. Once we agree, then everything will happen in about 30 days. So the cash should be ready by about 30 days. But then in a couple of days' time, I need to send the bank statements and the offer statement. So that is how fast the things are working. And uh, yeah, so just wanted to tell you. And uh, Venerable Chanda was searching for places for years and years, and uh, you know the seclusion and close to the city, and the space, the quietness. And this is the next door forest. This is a perfect place where she kind of rarely like. Is it? You know, it's very difficult to find a monastery kind of a place, not in a far away place. So. Uh, we hope for the best, and um, this is a kind of a, a, a you know invitation for you to get involved uh, at this stage as well. If you can financially support, I don't know if you if you know anybody, any organisation um, uh, so who can. Loan. 
yeah, who can who can uh, give us a loan or part of a loan, um, you can uh, email or contact us. Can I give the financing? Yeah. yeah. Um, you can contact me through <coughs> finances at anukampaproject.org. Thank you very much. <laughs> wow. We wouldn't have a hope with our own amazing volunteer and finance team. And just to say that for anyone listening, it is a risk-free loan and it's very short term. Properties in Oxford, we have a property in Oxford, uh, our Vihara, our current Vihara, probably worth 800,000, which is why we need the loan of 800,000. So it's only until we sell the property and really they go like hotcakes in Oxford. The one that we had, we bought it last year in July, the same day that we went to see it, four other buyers went to see it that afternoon, all cash buyers. So we just had to say, how much will you take to take it off the market? So Oxford is kind of its own bubble and the properties really sell. So we do have the funds. In fact, we have just enough. Um, so it's just a bridging loan. So we'll see what happens. And, you know, maybe the Davis will help, maybe the Meta will help, but sometimes you need practical solutions as well. And uh, Ajahn Baum is going to try his best to help. So I don't know if you want to say anything to the wider community. Yes, certainly. So I support this fully. It's rare that we have an opportunity to give the amount of support which the bhikkhunis need. We don't, I don't consider that uh, fully ordained Buddhist women should be treated so much worse than fully ordained Buddhist men. So I love being able to give them a, a good place where they can practice to show that here in the UK that we respect this gender diversity. And to actually to be true to my word, that when I return to Perth on Thursday morning, uh, it's kind of fortunate that we do have a committee meeting, full committee meeting of our Buddhist Society of Western Australia scheduled for that Sunday. And we have a lot of funds in term deposits put there for the just in case. And I think it must be a wonderful opportunity to use them. It will take some uh, argument and discussion because you know anyone who is on a committee, they're trying to look after the benefits for the BSWA, the British Society of Western Australia. But it's money, and a lot of that money is actually being donated because of the hard work which I have done. And so I think I should have a little bit more say, and to say, well, why not? Why not to send over? I don't think I can get the 800,000 total, but 700,000, 750, or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm asking some of you to make up that difference. Just as a loan. It's a loan from your own accounts into the, uh, to the Anukampa Bikuni project. But it really helps get this beautiful property. I've seen it and it's great. And we have an opportunity and it'd be so sad to miss that opportunity. You know, I can't, I don't have money myself. But I have the opportunity to convince others Please, don't let this pass, whatever funds you have. I showed uh, Venerable Chanda this morning the accounts where we, from our monk's account. I think there was, it's all in Aussie dollars, but I think there's about $750,000 in our savings account. Another $100,000, which is about 50,000 pounds in our current account. So I said, okay, you have the lot. <laughs> and what did you say? Well, then the monks won't have any money. Great, then when I go back, I can have a rest. <laughs> we have no projects to do. <laughs> so honestly, that's so much. You give just a whole lot, however much you have to get something good done. It's only for a couple of months. And then the house will be sold and the money will come back. And you will have a beautiful wehala for women, which you'll be so proud of. And those of you who don't live in Oxford, who live overseas, you still keep coming here. And you can see just by the faith that this is actually how we do things in Buddhism.